guys, welcome back to another video of CDB, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get consistent frames, no FPS drops during Fortnite. Uh, guys, if you follow all, all these seven tips correctly, you will get amazing FPS. You'll never drop a frame, It'll, your FPS will just stay the same. And even with the new engine on, the, on Fortnite, yeah, your FPS will never be better. Okay guys, without further ado, let's get in the video. Okay guys, so the first thing you'll want to do is hit the Windows key and type up check for updates right there. And then you want to press check for updates. Even if it says you're updated, make sure you press this. And while it's checking for updates, if, it, if something pops up saying update to Windows 1909, make sure to do that because it has been proven that it raises your FPS and gives you better frames obviously it says as it says here i'm up to date so obviously i don't need to update anything um but yeah make sure to update this if you do if you do have the option to okay guys so the next thing you want to do is type up adw cleaner on google chrome or whatever you use and make sure to click the free download you don't need to pay for this software for what we're going to do with it anyway so once you've downloaded that type up adw cleaner right there press yes and as you can see you just want to press scan now straight away it's going to take anywhere up to 10 10 seconds to uh, 30, se to uh, 30 minutes in fact depending on how many stuff you got as you can see I have um, I think something found but if, straight, if you have something found, make sure to press quarantine. Yeah, so once you press quarantine, your PC should restart and it should and you should look like this. Okay guys, so tip three, what you wanna do is open up your file explorer and then you wanna go to your C drive. Your Fortnite and Windows should be all on your C drive, which is your SSD if you have one. So <coughs> right click in C drive, click properties. And then first off, you want to make sure that your free space is at least 80%. Mine basically is. If it isn't, make sure to... First thing you want to do is the disk cleanup. I'd just tick everything on here. There's no reason for you not to. And once you've done all that, just press clean up system files. Just click, just like tick, tick all of these. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. But that should free up like two or three gigabytes. But then once you've done that, you want to go to tools and you want to run a check scan drive i don't need to because i've already done one today and then moving on from that you want to go to your d drive which is your hard drive press properties and then this the space doesn't matter you can do a, make sure to do a disk clean up and then go to tools optimize you can't optimize your c drive but you can optimize your d um so click on that and press analyze then optimize i'm not going to do that because i already did it today there you go Okay guys, so tip four is disabling hardware acceleration on your most used, most commonly used apps. So first off would be Discord. Most gamers use Discord to talk to their friends and stuff. So you want to go to your user settings. You want to go to appearance. Um, scroll down. And then hardware acceleration. This should be turned off as it would just increase your FPS in while this sword is loaded. Sec secondly, you want to go to Google Chrome and do the same thing. So you want to go to these three dots up here, settings, scroll all the way down until you see advanced, click that, scroll all the way down again, and then hardware acceleration when available. Mine's just, for some reason, mine is turned on, but it should be turned off. Once that's done, the next, the last thing you want to do is Spotify. Click these three dots, view, hardware acceleration, click that. It's just, it'll just shut down Spotify, but there you go. That is step three done. Okay guys, so the next thing you want to do is go to hit Windows key and then type run. This should pop up, up data percent. If it doesn't, just type that. 
press OK. Click app data up here and click local. And then your Fortnite, there shouldn't be loads of Fortnite games here. There should just be one, this one. What you want to do is just rename it like I've done. So Fortnite game seven and then press it, exit out of that and then load up Fortnite. Okay guys, so once, you, once you've got your Fortnite loaded, it should come up with this, just hit the client. Royale. The trailer should pop up, just skip it. Okay, so your Fortnite graphics should look a bit weird, but all you have to do is just go to settings and we'll fix that. So the first thing you want to do is click full screen and hit apply. But basically what this does, it makes uh, your input delay a lot less, that's good. Your frame rate, if you're on 140 hertz, if you're on 144 hertz monitor, you want to put it to 160 fps. And if you're on, if you're on 240 hertz monitor, just put it to 240 fps. You want to scroll down where it says quality presets. Just put that to low. Put the 3D resolution all the way up. Hit apply. Okay. And then your V-Sync should be off. Your motion blur should be off. Your show fps should be on. DirectX version, if you have a graphics card that is over, uh, is it part of the 2000 series, put it DirectX 12, so I'm on Direct, I've got a graphics card that's part, that's the 1000 series, so I'm putting on DirectX 11, and now if it, allow multi-thread rendering, if you have a CPU that is more than four cores, or four, four cores or more, and put it to on, if you don't, then um, keep it off. Use GPU crash debugging, always have that off no matter what. Just hit apply. Back. And now we've done that step, so just cancel out Fortnite. Okay, guys, so this next step is really easy. You just want to type run again. And then, but instead of app data, percent, you want to put percent temp percent. Hit OK. And then you just want to highlight all of this, right click and delete. And if there's any folders that you don't you don't need to delete, uh, just press skip. And yeah, just press X out of that once you've done that. And yeah, that was a really easy step, guys. Okay, guys, this next step is also really easy, but quite often overlooked. So you want to hit your file explorer, your whatever drive Fortnite's installed on. So mine's installed on my C drive. You want to hit program files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries. Win64 and then scroll down until you see these four uh, application files. So on all of these you want to do this. So you want to hit properties, compatibility and then you want to tick disable full screen optimizations and then change high DPI settings. You want to put this to override high DPI scaling behavior from by and then application. You want to do that for every single one guys. Let me just do that. Okay, so once you've done that, guys. Okay, guys, so that is the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to hit hit a like and sub. But, guys, hope you could. The most important part right now is hopefully your FPS has been boosted. There's no reason why it should be lessened, so there's no reason why you shouldn't do this. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Um, have an amazing day. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Goodbye, guys. Hmm. <laughs>